Hi everybody. This next set of videos is going to show you some basic functionality in creating block diagrams or can be used for any graphics really using Microsoft Word. Word can actually create some rather complicated graphics but these are going to be very simple. Now if you do not have Microsoft Word go to the blackboard and click the navigation button for student resources. The first item in student resources is an option to sign up for free access to Microsoft Office 365. Follow the instructions. Download and install Office 365. If you will be using another program to create this block diagram, be sure to save it in a format that I can open. If you're not sure about the format, send me a message with the type of format and I'll let you know whether I can open it and give you other suggestions. So if you need to install Office 365, you can stop or pause this video, install Office 365, make sure everything's working, and then return to this video. Okay, let's make a block diagram. This demonstration is for people who are using a PC. If you're using a map, I'm sorry, a Mac, launching Word will probably be a little different. The demonstration is also using Microsoft Office 2013. If you're using a different version, your screens might look a bit different. However, the concepts are going to be exactly the same. So we'll launch Word by simply clicking on the Start button, or I have my computer in Windows Classic View. You could have a Start button. I have a Start button here. And then All Programs. And I'm going to scroll down my list of programs until I get to Microsoft Office. Now mine again is 2013. Yours will be a different version, especially if you're using 365. I'm going to click on Office. I'm going to find Word in the list. Again, mine is Word 2013. Yours may be different. I'm going to click on it and allow Word to start. Office 365 Word 2013 comes up with a start page that looks very similar to the one you're looking at now. And to do this, we're going to just start with a blank document, which is shown right here. These are templates of different types of documents that you can create. Microsoft provides a, a whole library full of different templates. But we're going to start with a blank document. If you're using a previous version of Word, uh, a blank document is also referred to as a new document. So uh, if you don't see the term blank document, just start a new document. So I'm going to click on blank document and you'll see that the Word interface opens. The cursor that I'm kind of circling here with my mouse, if you can see that, is a blinking vertical line. And that's where, when you start typing, text will be entered. Now, what I'm going to do next isn't required, but I like to always put an Enter sequence. In other words, I'm going to press the enter key one time so that I get a blank line above the cursor. I do this when I'm going to be creating graphics. Again, it's not required. You don't have to do that. It's just something that I do. The next thing I do is when I'm creating graphics, I like to center the graphics on the page. So I'll come up on my home tab across the ribbon and in the paragraphs group I'll click on the center function 
and that'll center my text on this screen. Now for drawing graphics in the Microsoft Word program, it's best if you use something called the excuse me, the drawing canvas. You can do the drawings without the drawing canvas. However, if you do the, do the drawings on the drawing canvas, you'll have more control over how you're drawing, where you're drawing, and then how to move things and position things around. So I'm going to insert a new drawing canvas. To do that, we're going to come up across the tabs and we're going to click on the insert tab and in the illustrations group there's an option for shapes I'm going to click on shapes and you'll see that in the shapes drop down there's a whole bunch of different shapes that we can draw but all the way down here at the bottom and if you need to scroll down with the scroll bar please do you'll see an option for new drawing canvas so I'm going to click on new drawing canvas and in my document you'll now see I have this frame that appears and around the frame are these small little squares those are called handles and they're called sizing handles I can take these sizing handles and when I move my mouse to it, notice how the arrows turn from left to right. If I go to this one, they turn up and down. If I go to this one, they turn into a diagonal. And I can come in here and drag the size of the frame using the sizing handles. So I just did that. I'm going to come up and undo that so it gets back to normal. So your drawing canvas, by the way, if you're using a different version of Word, may look different. Uh, previous versions, if I remember correctly, used to use a dashed line with black handles. But it'll all it'll work the same. So let's draw or start drawing this block diagram. There are many many options and flavors to pick from when you're drawing in Word. This video is only going to cover the, the very very basics behind it. As you get some experience you can create some fairly nice looking graphics just using the drawing tools. So if you want to notice that when the drawing canvas was inserted Word automatically switched to the format tab and above the tab is a reminder that the format tab now contains drawing tools so if you take note the format tab is now in focus and above it there are drawing tools if we move over to the insert shapes frame we want to make sure that the drawing canvas is showing and then we want to click into the canvas to make sure we're in the canvas and then we're going to come up into the insert shapes and we're going to get a rectangle and you can see as I move the mouse over it a tooltip will come up to tell me that it's a rectangle so we're going to click on it and we're going to move the mouse then down to the drawing canvas. The cursor is now across. So it looks like a big plus sign. So we're going to now click and drag a rectangle. So if I click and I'm now I'm going to drag a rectangle. And you can make it any shape you'd like, but I'm going to try to keep it about like that. You can always resize it because as you look around this handle now or around this frame you'll see that there are little squares they're sizing handles and on the top one if you move up you'll see this little swirly thing 
this little swirly thing, I can take that. Notice how my mouse cursor changes. I can now also rotate this to make things at an angle. So I got a lot of control with these handles and I can be making some pretty elaborate items. If I do this, I can change the whole size. So anyway, those are what those items do. Let me undo this a few times to get back to my rectangle. And that's now back to the way I inserted it. Now, I'm not a big fan of rectangles that are filled with a solid color when I'm doing block diagrams. So I'm going to use this shape styles group to change the way this rectangle looks. And I'm going to come in and drop this list down. And that list was called more. If I click away, come in here, you'll see that it says more. I'll click there. And I just want a standard type of white background, black frame type of graphic. I want you to also notice that as you move your mouse over them, the rectangle that you drew, it'll show you a sample of what that box will look like. So again, I'm just going to use a black outline with the white background. I'm going to click on that, and now it's that style. I also want to make my lines a little thicker. I think it stands out a little bit better. So I'm going to come up again in the shapes. With, I'm going to make sure, first of all, that this rectangle is selected. And I know it's selected when the handles are on it. See, if I click away, the handles go away. Now that rectangle is not selected. I click anywhere in it. Notice my mouse cursor also changes to uh, a left and right, up and down arrow because I can take it and click on it and drag it around. But simply by clicking on it, it'll select it. I'm going to then come up to the shape styles. I'm going to come to Shape Outlines, drop that down, come to Weight, because I want to change the thickness of the line. I like to make it about one and a half points. And again, as you move your mouse, you can see how the shape changes. But one and a half is something I like you can really choose any style that you like. Okay, at this time I want to save this document. So I'm going to come up, now I have a bunch of customized tools up here, but in case you don't, I'm going to click the File tab, and I'm going to choose the option for Save As. So it's now you're going to get, again, in this version of, Win of Office, you're going to get some options as to where you want to save this. Well, I want to save it on my computer. So I'm going to click Computer. And I'm going to browse as to where I want to save it. I'm going to browse. And now the Save As dialog box opens. And I'm going to choose a location for this. Well, I have a folder called My Stuff, but I'm going to choose to store this in a folder that I created for this course, which is EMEC 130. And I'm going to now create a new folder by clicking New Folder. And I'm going to call this Video Demos. You, again, you can store your, your file wherever you'd like. I'm going to open that folder. Now I'm going to give it a file name. I would suggest that you name the file according to the way the assignment tells you, which is last name underscore 
first name underscore block underscore diagram. So I'm going to save it as Todora underscore John underscore block underscore diagram and I'm going to click save. That document is now saved up on the title bar. You could see the file name is up there so you know it's been saved. And that's all we'll do for this video. Video number two will add to this block diagram and give it some more op other options. So I'll see you in video number two. Thanks.